Another day, another update on Detroit Red Wings property. So, I'll be honest right here, I'm recording this video on Friday, March 25th. It is 5.18pm in the afternoon here on the West Coast. I am going on a trip, so I have to pre-record some stuff. I have to say this before every video, because if the stats and everything are not exactly what they are when I say it here on the microphone, then I have to give myself that little out. So today we're talking about some Red Wings prospects, and we're going over some updates that Steve Eiserman himself has for these guys. We're going over to Frolunda in the SHL, a team that I think many Red Wings fans are familiar with because of the development they have had on some of the guys recently. But when it comes to the guys that are still there, hey, there are some conversations we can be having about these prospects for sure. Let's take our focuses on to Simon Edvinson, a defenseman taken by the Wings in 2021's first round, as well as Elmer Soderblom, the tree, the giant, the guy himself, 6'8", 238 pounds as a Red Wings six-round pick in 2019. These two guys have been having themselves quite the year for Frolunda in 2021-2022, so let's go over how exactly that has been the case. Simon Edvinson, as a big left-handed defenseman, 6'5", 207, 19 years old, he's got himself a good stat line this season of 19 points in 44 games as a draft plus one player. I say that because it's kind of important to remember the last time the Red Wings had a big hulking defenseman in the SHL doing his thing, it was Moritz Sider in 20 what, 2020, 2021, because he was a draft plus two player suiting up for Regla. Right now, Simone Edvinson is in his own territory doing things for the Frolunda Hockey Club. He's been given a little bit more of an extended role as of late, an opportunity to showcase his skating ability and his offensive production. And needless to say, he's been kind of using those opportunities pretty well. Next up, we go over onto Elmer Soderblom, and we take a look at what this giant has been having in store for us. This season for Frolunda, he's got 33 points and 21 goals in 52 gosh darn games played. A huge, huge improvement over the five points he had in 28 games last year. Now, we've known Frolunda has never really been the easiest team to go out there and crack, especially if you're a teenager. It's very difficult for these young guys to come into the team and immediately get good minutes, immediately get themselves a good role. Even Lucas Raymond, he was drafted out of Frolunda and he had like a very small amount of points. It's just, we knew, we started to see based off of his performance at the end of the year that, yeah, he was legit and he was actually all that we wanted him to be because whenever Raymond was suiting up against guys in his own age range, he would always dominate. It's just in the SHL, starting off, he wasn't really given an opportunity to do so. As for Soderblom, though, he is one of the top guys in the entire SHL when it comes to total goals. He's in a four-player tie for seventh in the league with Linus Olmark, Ty Ratty, and Robin Kovacs. So, there you go, some very legit competition right there. It's honestly kind of wild, considering how many more goals this guy has scored compared to assists, but he is right there in the midst of things. And so we go over on to MLive.com, where Steve Eiserman has himself an interview that he did talking about the Red Wings prospects, Edvinson and Soderblom. This article, as always, will be linked in the description if you want to go ahead and read the piece. It is indeed on MLive, so I think a lot of Red Wings fans are familiar with this. Ansar Khan is the one who puts it together, and he talks about a few quotes that Steve Eiserman has about these two guys. They have both had outstanding seasons, Red Wings GM said on Monday when discussing his trade deadline moves. I personally have not been over there in Frölunda, but we've got Cronwall, Lidstrom, Hakan Anderson, Tomas Carlson. We've got several people in Sweden that have been there to watch them play. I've seen a lot of video. Firstly, can we just acknowledge how great that quote is? Yeah, I'm personally not there watching the games myself, but we've got Nick Lidstrom over there instead. We've got Nick Cronwall over there, too. Like, imagine that. You're Simone Edvinson. You're a Red Wings guy. You were drafted by this team last year. And the guys who are watching your games live, assumably, and telling your future GM-to-be how you're doing are Nick Cronwall, Nick Lidstrom. Dude, these guys are legends. Absolute studs in NHL history and lore, let alone Red Wings history and lore. If Nick Lidstrom is going out there saying you're doing a good job, I think you're probably doing a good job. So, Iserman getting all his info on these two guys from Cronwall, Lidstrom, Anderson, Carlson. It's a good staff. I really do like the sound of that. And, I mean, if there's anybody that's going to be able to go out there and critique, verify, actually see what's going on, right, wrong, whatever, it's going to be these guys. 
Both of those kids, Soderblom and Edvinson, are in real good programs, good organizations, and they're developing well, so it's very encouraging. Speaking on the individual players themselves, Eiserman says this, Simone has done extremely well when talking about Edvinson. He's a different player than Moritz Sider, but he's had a real impact for a 19-year-old in a very good league. He's had a tremendous impact in the Swedish league. And yeah, I want to go out there and stress that a little bit more. We say this every time we talk about Edvinson, but I guess I gotta say it again, because just in case you didn't see the previous video, this is the update right here. Moritz Sider, while he is a physical specimen, he is a guy that is not afraid to take you to the ground if you try to finish your check on him. He's smooth, he's poised, he's calm, he's finesse. Edvinson has a few similar qualities, wherein he is also pretty smooth and he is very calm, but Edvinson is a lot more of a puck-rushing defenseman. He's a very smooth skater when he has the puck, he's a no-BS type of guy when he's defending in his own zone and on the back check. Plus, he's left-handed, so Sider is right, Edvinson is left, these guys are both behemoths, with Edvinson being 6'5", so... That's a future pairing for the ages right there, by the way, Edvinson and Sider, I cannot wait to see that. Going back over onto the quotes, though, when it comes to Elmer Soderblom, this is what Steve Eiserman says about his season, obviously we could not be happier with the development of this guy. He just continued to get better. When we drafted him, we had him over here and he's a tremendous athlete with great potential. He's gone back to Sweden, worked hard in his game, he's getting more confident, I get all these videos and see him shooting the puck in the net, it just looks like he's really maturing. There also was a few highlights of him circulating on Twitter, like every time this guy scored a goal because he would score a lot of goals in the season he played, we would see just what it is that he's doing in the SHL and like, he's not afraid to go out there holding onto the puck, circling the net, finding some open space and risking it on goal. If he really needs to, he can dangle a guy or two. This is one of the better six round picks that we have seen out of any team in the past few years. How often do you get a six round guy actually become a mainstay primetime SHL contributor in three years? Let alone guys who are six foot eight and 238 pounds. Like, Elmer Soderblom is so strange in that he's got this huge physical frame, but his hands are soft like butter. Remember the World Juniors, all those through the legs goals, etc.? Like, this guy has such a diversified skill set that you wouldn't be able to define just by looking at the profile and the status of this guy. You need to watch him play and see his strengths out there on the ice. So, for a six-round pick, this certainly is one that I think the Red Wings will be cherishing for the next few seasons, especially in Grand Rapids when he comes over. There is indeed one more quote over here from Steve Eiserman when it comes to these two. We've got a couple of more guys over there in Sweden. They are talking about, you know, Wallinder, Johansson, Niederbach, a few other guys. Niederbach actually plays on Forlunda too, so yeah, funny how Steve Eiserman left him out. We'll see what happens, and we're happy with how they're coming along. The Swedish playoffs are about to start, and Elmer and Simon are on one of the better clubs in the league. Let's see how they do. Look forward to getting them over here at some point, hopefully sooner rather than later. So let me know in the comments all your thoughts about what Steve Eiserman has said about these two new guys. What do you see coming into the future for Simone Edvinson and Elmer Soderblom? When do you think these guys make the jump over to North America? Do you think that's immediately next year? Do you think they're Grand Rapids Griffins by the time 2022-2023 finishes up? Do they end the season off next year in Detroit, or do they start off the season next year in Detroit? We'll see. But when it comes to some of the other guys that we have seen go through similar development paths, Raymond and Sider are like the two outliers in that Raymond made the NHL after another season in Frolunda. For Sider, he actually spent two years before making the Red Wings full-time, so who knows what the path is for Soderblom and Edvinson. But you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about these players, these prospects? What do you think their potentials are? What do you think they could max out as when it comes to NHL play? If you're a fan of the Frolunda Hockey Club and you watch these games religiously, please let me know in the comments what do you think about these two guys? Not just these two, but Niederbach as well, because he's also over there. We just haven't talked about him in this video. Do you like how they're playing for you guys? Do you think they project as good caliber? For NHL players, or are they just regular old SHL athletes? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Trolls 99 and bye. <laughs>